one of Connecticut's top family attractions. Yeah, and with over 300 unique animals, primarily from North and South America, we have some nice little friends for you. <laughs> Joining us now, Jim Knox. He is the director of education at Beardsley Zoo. How, how about this one right here, Jim? This is a very... Uh, very nice one. You've wow. got one of my favorites, Ryan. That's yeah. our low maintenance hellbender, a giant salamander. <laughs> a hellbender? Yes, yes. That's an oxymoron, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, so, so peaceful, just, just yeah. not, so peaceful, not really almost moving. Almost as if it were a piece of plastic. Yeah. Go oh. figure. Oh, it's, it's not real. <laughs> Your secret safe. Uh, oh, okay. You can put him down. <laughs> Let me just put this little. Right. However, oh, these hell, guys hellbender. are real. We've got some real guys here, yeah. Uh, this is a, a friend of ours. Well, first of all, our, our gorgeous girl right out yeah. here in front is Marlena. She's a green iguana. Showstopper. And uh, wow. she is a showstopper, I agree. Now, um, don't make great pets for most people, for 99.9% .9 of the people, but she's one of our ambassador animals, and we're very pleased to have her here. Beautiful. And, and she has a third eye on, on She top? does. She does. Really cool fact. If you guys can look, and you see that little sort of almond-shaped dot on yes, the top of her head. Yes, that's an eye? That's called a pineal eye, and what it is is like a very primitive photosensor. So if a Jeez. bird of prey or is overhead mm -hmm. or an ocelot is sinking above her in the canopy of the trees, she may dive up to 60 feet into a rainforest river and escape that way. Oh my okay. God. What does she yeah. eat? She, uh, when she's little, when the iguanas are little, they're eating mostly insects and bird eggs and any, any meat they can find, but they switch over to an omnivorous diet. When they get older, a lot of flower blossoms, a lot of fruit. So mostly herbivores when so they're beautiful. Got it. Yeah, yeah. This one seems to be cuddling with okay, you. Well, this guy, <laughs> I think he likes skink? you. Yeah, he, this is a blue tongue skink. Good uh, job, Ryan. Skink. Yeah. Those you good old blue skinks, tongue huh? skinks. I'm very well versed when it comes to so skinks. So I don't want him to crawl on, our, yeah, on his Yeah, don't get too friendly. There. Here, come but over with the hellbender. Here, come on over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, the yeah. reason I'm putting our friend Winston down is because when I do, he's going to be scenting the air. When he does that, he's flicking his bright blue tongue out, and that's how he gets his name. Oh. Look at that blue tongue, huh? Wow. Yeah. So, so he's sensing the surroundings and. He, he knows there. he's on TV right now. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Do snakes do the same thing? They do. They okay. sure do. They're flicking their tongue in and out of their mouths to get scent information to help them to steer left or right toward dinner and away from danger. Got it. Right. Beautiful. Now, these guys are really neat because green iguanas and many species of skinks can break their tails and regrow them. So a predator will grab that free meal and these guys can go off. On their merry way. Marlena's okay. Just yeah. getting she's comfortable. She's okay. <laughs> if she's looking to go over the edge, we'll we'll make a, a quick dive and grab her. Got it. Okay, Skink, you stay where you are, so, buddy. Come here, my friend. I'm going to do okay. a handoff here. So we got somebody really Goodbye. cool to show Whoa. to you guys right now. now. This is not a snake. This is not. This is the guy you guys were, were referencing in the break there. It's like a this, little Voldemort. Yeah, <laughs> kind of does look like yeah. the basilisk in right. Harry Potter. <laughs> this is uh, good. Good reference. Ugh. This this one here is a legless lizard, a Eurasian legless lizard, very primitive lizard, looks like a snake, but if you look carefully, guys, you're gonna see the little ear openings here. Yes. Yeah. And, and this animal can blink, and if it can blink, it is not a snake, it is a lizard. Okay. That is a great, that is good trivia to know, yeah, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, w would you say it's more or less a snake? I would I mean, say that has a snake body form, but let me show you a little difference here. Okay. But really not, right? <laughs> <laughs> Snakes <laughs> have, he's it. doing a little lashing there because mm -hmm. he wants to, to squirm away, but if you look on the, the base of the guy, this animal here, you see, I'm gonna hold it up so hopefully the audience can see, Beautiful. a lot of scales all together in this mosaic. Mm -hmm. Now a snake wow. has one scale right after the other on their belly. Good well, to know, know, Jim, thank you. Bye-bye, right. everyone. Beardsyzoo.com, head on over there this summer, or fall. <laughs> Can't think.